Welcome to Real Vision's Trade Ideas. Today is May 30th, and I'm sitting down with Erin Gibbs, Equity Chief Investment Officer at S&P Global. Let's see what she's looking at now. Erin, what's your trade idea? So my trade idea is Ross Stores, and this is a very immediate play. Uh, last week, they basically guided lower during their earnings call, and the stock tanked. Um, and we see this as a massive overreaction to some negative news that we already knew was already in. So they still have really great revenue growth, earnings growth, um, and they're really right now at one of their lowest valuation levels that they tend to bounce off of. Um, so for us, it's really uh, Ross Stores is at a discount or on sale, much like its clothing. Oh, very nice. So what do you see going on with Ross? I, so you just mentioned that they announced earnings. Um, their earnings, actually, the revenue beats. Um, but what was it that was disappointing? So the margins uh, came in lower. And then more it was about the fact that they're guiding margins a little lower going forward. Much like most companies today, they're facing some pretty big headwinds when it comes to wage growth. So they're having to pay higher wages. Um, and also freight costs. We've you know discussed about it just being very hard to get truckers. And, and it's more expensive to ship things. Um, but this is across the board, across the industry. So um, we know this isn't new. Also, Ross actually raised wages uh, late last year. So uh, they actually have less headwinds than a lot of their competitors do, such as Target, who hasn't wa raised wages at all. Um, so yes, margins are going to be a little compressed. They're facing some headwinds. But uh, when it comes to discount re retailers, they've actually been greatly out performing their big box retailers. And we see Ross just a little better positioned in taking some of the hits earlier on. So even though they guided a little lower for second quarter, uh, we still see for the full year, for fiscal year, their 2019, uh, to be exceptional. We're looking at 22% growth for next fiscal year, 17% earnings growth for the next 12 months. Um, so some really strong earnings growth uh, for, for Ross. And their physical footprint is still growing as well. Yeah, so they're also another one of these stores that despite uh, online competition, uh, they have plans to open 100 stores this year. They've already opened a couple, and they're only closing 10, which is unusual because a lot of stores announced they're opening some, but they're you know closing just as many. Um, and this is why we're looking at almost 9% revenue growth for the next year. That's the expectation. So that's higher than the S&P 500's average. Uh, and they're trading at about 18 and a half forward earnings, which is also cheaper than the S&P 500. So you've got higher top line growth, cheaper valuations right now, just because of that, uh, basically that correction after last week's announcement. Um, and so we just see this right now as a great place to get into Ross stores. Okay, so you would get in now. How high do you see this potentially going? So we would reevaluate it when they get to around 20 and a half, 21 times forward earnings, which is basically 85 to $87. Um, right now, the Wall Street consensus target price is $88, so that's a little lower than what Wall Street is seeing. But that's basically we would reevaluate it. And if they still look good, if they're hitting their numbers, if they haven't been guiding lower, then we would absolutely keep it at least until the end of the year as you get through the holiday season, because retailers tend to do well during December. Um, everybody gets positive during a Santa Claus rally. Do you see any risks to this? Is there any point at which you would back out because of any sort of fundamental thing going on? So if the margins really take off, uh, one of the things that we know anybody who has to worry about shipping is facing, um, even Amazon, is rising freight costs. Uh, it's just getting more and more expensive to ship things. We're all getting things delivered and it's getting more costly. Uh, so if we see really big headwinds and higher gasoline prices, that's of course another uh, issue. So if we really see the margins starting to compress and actually where they could potentially uh, lower earnings guidance, that would be something that we would be concerned about. But we know that oil prices, since we've already taken that big rise during the first a uh, few months of the year. Um, we don't expect a massive change before second quarter earnings. But that's definitely something if we see a huge spike in oil, a huge spike in freight cost, um, that could negatively impact all of these retailers where they actually need to move clothing from one place to another. And right now, Ross has somewhat strong free cash flows. Yeah, so they actually have one of the strongest free cash flows out of all the discount retailers. You know, their direct competitor is uh, TJX stores or the TJ Maxx. Um, so both of them have 
very free strong cash. So it's much better than some of your big box retailers like JCPenney's, Macy's. Uh, so very, very stable company. They can withstand those higher margins. Uh, they can handle, they have enough cash coming in that they can certainly easily sustain it. Um, but uh, their margins are still, you know, could come under pressure, but still operating at very high levels compared to most retailers. All right. Can you break down this trade in 30 seconds? Uh, Ross stores, it's on sale. Buy it now. <laughs> Great. Aaron, thank you so much. You're welcome. So Erin sees a lot of upside potential in Ross stores. She believes the overreaction to its disappointing earnings announcement is a buying opportunity. Specifically, she likes purchasing shares of Ross, ticker symbol ROST, at current levels of around $78. She has a price target of $85 over the next seven months. Just remember that this is a trade idea and not investment advice. You should do your own research, assess your risk, and invest accordingly. For Real Vision, I'm Justine Underhill.